Hi YouTube. Today this is the first program of TCA lab. So in this we will be seeing the design designing part by using multisim. So electronic circuit analysis TCA lab. Okay, we are going to see. So first of all to know how to use this software, how we can use this software, first of all let us know something about the circuit something basics about the circuit then we will be going for the first program so this is just an introduction so in this introduction i will be telling some few tips how to use this multi sim software to know the current values voltages across any resistor or capacitor or any other values so let us see a simple circuit diagram I have opened here. So as you can know, able to see here there is a 9 volts battery, a 3 k 3 kilo ohms resistance and 10 kilo ohms resistance and 5 kilo ohms resistance connected in series. So I want to know the current since they, if they are connected in series, current flow will be same. Currents are same in series and voltages are same in if the series if the resistance are connected in parallel, then voltages are same. If the, if the resistance are connected in series, then the current the current flowing through the all the resistors will be equal. So now let us put this same diagram in this our multi sim lab and let us know the current and voltages across each terminal of the resistors. Across each terminal of resistors. Let us have same. So just we need some components. So here you can able to see basics. So just click on it. Here there, there, is a, there are the all the components present here. So you have your source sources. Let us take first source. Okay, power source, signal, everything are there. Voltage source. If you take your power source, if you take your VDC, VDD, V VSS digital ground, AC power supply, DC power supply, you can have everything. So if you take your DC power supply and press on OK, then you will be getting this DC power supply. So as you can see here, the DC power supply voltage is, how much it is? 12 volts. So if we, I want 9 volts DC power, then we can set it up. Just I have double clicked on it, then I have given a voltage value. Okay. Then again go to your sources. A source is completed. Now basic elements I require. In that basic elements I require only resistors. So select the resistor. And if you can able to see the diagram here. 3, 10 and 5. So I want 3k resistor. And 10k uh, resistor. and one 5k resistor so we will be placing it there yeah. now what I require is some power I don't require anything just I want this to rotate so I am pressing control R to rotate it ok now here there are see some multimeter I have a multimeter I have a function generator I have a watt meter, I have an oscilloscope, I have a four channel oscilloscope, I have a board and plotter, so frequency counter, so similar things are there. See, I, take, I have taken a multimeter and I have placed one multimeter here. I have taken another multimeter and I have placed here. I have took one more multimeter, I have placed here. One more multimeter and I have placed it here. Okay. So why I have placed that with me now just okay I am connecting all the all the things so to find the current I am using this and to find the voltages just I am completing my circuit to find the voltages across each resistor I am using 
I connecting the multimeter in the fashion parallel. And I have connected one multimeter in series so that to know the what is the actual current flowing through each resistor. Since the current flow through all the resistors are same, so I, I can easily get it. So just I am running it. And if you the circuit is not grounded, it is telling. So let us ground the circuit. Just go to your basics. Just go to your source. Then take it a ground. Okay, take a ground. Press OK. Connect it here. Just now you, if you run it and if you see it's 27 micro volts. The current flowing through it is voltage. The current flowing through it is 500 micro amperes. And the voltage across this is 1.49 volts. The voltage across is 5 volts. And the voltage across it minus 2.5 volts. So this is how you can know how much current is flowing and how much is the voltage across each terminal. So a similar kind of thing you can able to get the information by using this tool. This is the basic design and basics of multi-sim, a simple design. In our next tutorials we are going to see how to build a circuit like class A amplifiers, common emitter amplifier, common source amplifier, two stage RC coupled amplifier, current shunt and voltage series, feedback amplifier, cascode amplifier, green bridge oscillators. So everything we will we can able to see. We will be seeing this in our next tutorials, next videos. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, comments and share. Thank you.